In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find really interesting tokens across a wide range of sectors, including meme coins. All you have to do is go to the token section within Nansen, select Solana as your chain, as we're going to be focusing on the Solana ecosystem. And here you get an overview of all these different tokens that meet certain different criteria. So I said we can cover meme coins, so let's do that. The first thing I'm going to do is set a token age of 30 days. We want to discover new and early meme coins that have some upside potential. From there, we're going to use sectors, and you can see there's a wide range of sectors, and you can see those all throughout the tokens that we have uh, within the platform. But we're going to go to meme coins, and then just press save. Now we can see just meme coins in Solana, and we're going to go to price market cap here. And this is going to tell us all this pricing data relating to meme coins here, and we can go to top gainers or we can also go to top losers to find if there's anything interesting here. At the time of recording, there's this token here, Orfina, which is up 200% in the last 24 hours. BTCAT, 140%, based 121%. And these fully diluted valuations are quite low because we set these criteria in place. So that's really, really interesting. We can go a bit deeper if we wanted to by setting out certain cap limits or by adding a filter here to set minimum or maximum uh, market cap so by using token screener we can then dive really deep into the data with our preferred setup to see if there's anything interesting that we may want to research further or we may want to use the on-chain metrics to do this so there could be things such as uh, holder changes so if we see an increase this could be really interesting if the same for volume and if we see that there has been a decline in this maybe that's an indicator for us but that's what you can see with Token Screener, and just one of the many ways that you can use it. I've used it for meme coins, but if we go back to sectors, you can use it for a wide range of sectors, depending on your use case. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to help, and hopefully you can discover something really cool using Nansen.